Hello, it's Sarah. I'm back for part two, the color. Yay, I'm so excited. All right, so I think my main color on this one instead of the ruby is gonna be purple. I'm gonna go with the amethyst. I happen to have a gloss in purple and it's an, an enamel by Folk Art. And I don't feel like it's the best, um, just, it's ready, here I go. It's thick, so that's okay. I'm going to put a little bit of this color float in there with it. Two, three, four drops, it's okay. And then I'm just gonna take one of these crochet hooks and really give it a good mix, back and forth. Try to blend the two together. So they become one. And it really improves the, co the consistency of the paint so that it really makes a nice dot without taking away the, uh, the glossiness of the paint, of the color. I could probably use more, but for now I'll go with that. So if you missed part one, all I did, I talked about how I base coated the piece and then we just put gold dots everywhere I want to put a gemstone and that's going to act as the bezel to the gemstone. So I'm going to dot over these. I'm going to call top dot them, but um, you don't want to cover all the gold. You want some of that to show. So you just have to kind of pick a, a dotting tool that's going to fit in there. Now this fits really nice. So let's see. It's going to leave quite a bit of gold though, but I think I'm going to go with it. All right, so let's see how this works out. Um, I think it did perfect. So you can still see the bezel of the gold around it. Um, I don't think I have the same size dot anywhere else. So all these other dots are smaller. So I'm going to have to go down in size, and I'm going to stay in the center for right now. I think I'm going to do this. And, oh, too big. So, dang it. I really don't want to have to do this very much, but I'm going to try and... If you roll a Q-tip, you can pretty much get it off without causing too much of a mess. And then just... There you go. All right, so that was too big. Let me do what I think is a bigger dot over here, this one. Whoop, that looks pretty. This one's big. Man, this color is gorgeous. Ugh. I love color so much. It makes me so happy. Um, I don't want to get carried away with purple, but I do think I'm going to put it in all the corners. So let me go down a little bit smaller. Um, go to the red, red, red. Here it is. I don't, I think it's going to be too big. Perfect. Just don't push all the way down. Sometimes it works better if you just set the paint down rather than the whole, uh, what's it called? Crochet hook. Like I don't need to put it onto the surface. Just let the paint kind of fall off. Oh my God. I am already so excited. Oh man, I gotta put more. All right, let's do the center one. I mean the one in the, because these match, I'm gonna make them match. So I just have to go down in size. I should be cooking dinner, but the boys have it because I just, it's 
it's hard for me to resist when I, I just really can't wait to see the, oh God, that's gorgeous. Okay, let me come up. So that's the beginnings. Um, I guess I could pop some pearls on here to kind of feel out where I want to go. Let's see. Um, I think I want to purple, I guess red. I'm going to go with the red. Let me get a little red out and start adding a few. Um, I think I'm going to make these purple too. I might make my bigger ones purple because amethyst is less, it's a semi-precious gem. So you could get those much bigger. <laughs> well, if you're royal, I'm sure you can get the rubies and um, pearls and whatever, and whatever size you want. Anyway, I'm going to go with smaller. Let's see. These are going to be rubies. So, purple and red looks pretty together. It looks pretty royal. OMG. This is the most funnest part, you guys. Oh man. And maybe I think those will be pearls. Hmm. I think these could be rubies over here. Can you see how I oh my god. You can see. I'm letting these stay rounded. Even though the purple one is a little pointy. Um, I am going to do a big ruby up here. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, too big. This is this is way too much. Too big. I'm gonna put this. I'm so glad I went with purple on this one. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I think I need more um, purple. Um, these four are going to be purple. Okay. Let me go with... No, too big. Let me see, because that one's purple. Yeah, I think I'm going to do it. This one. I'm going to put red here, and then I'm still going to do some emeralds as well. Um, Look how it, it just starts to come to life. Wow. 
Um, I think I'm going to put a red one right here. And, wow, I really, this is just blowing my mind. <laughs> um, holy cow. I just have to figure out what I'm putting here. I think I'm going to go red in the smaller ones and I'll do green. Let's, let's do the green. I love this color, holly green. It is so beautiful. I'm going smaller because I can, I can kind of walk it around. And I am going to put green <clears throat> need some green down here. Wow. I don't think that the camera is doing it justice, but it looks so beautiful. I need it here. Uh oh, too big. Got it. So let me just go down in size. Sometimes these little cabochons, they just turn out so pretty. Oh man, I'm so pleased with that. Um, I need to make those. I'm going to put some couple of emeralds right here. It's like I'm a jewelry designer right now. I swear. Need some more red. I didn't finish this little section right here. That's gonna be too big. These little ones, these little dots, really look real. Like you can get them so rounded. Uh-oh. I'm just piling on the paint a little higher. Wow. That is so beautiful. I have to save a few dots for pearls. I'm getting so carried away. Um... Alright, I think I'm going to put emeralds down here, right here, I need more green. See, I don't really think I'm close enough, but I know I come out of the shot if I, let me see, nope. I have some residual gold here, I could clean that up with black paint. Kind of just keep putting paint down to get it to be fuller and rounder. Uh oh, that's a lot of paint. Okay. And really try not, oh, try not to get your hand in this because that would really make you sad.
before I varnish, I definitely let it sit overnight. Um, because if they're not dry, you will have a mess on your hands if you try to varnish over this. Um, wow, I'm, I'm so excited. This is so fun. I mean, you're like a little jewelry designer, for real. Okay. Oh, I'm not done yet. I didn't do right here. Oh, too close. I had too much paint. See, I get carried away. And I see I'm leaving it because I'm... It won't... You won't notice it. So I still have a couple of big ones that I need to consider. Um, we have these, the two that I put on opposite sides of that, which could be rubies because I didn't walk the ruby. Um, they're going to be rubies, I just decided. And then I just have to figure out where I'm putting pearls. I don't have to have pearls, but I feel like it really adds to the design, that white. And I can always add a few more gold dots to the design to, to put pearls or anything I want to put on here. What's kind of cool is, I mean, the green isn't, an, it isn't a, um, gloss finish paint, but it, it sure looks shiny right now. Um, okay, so, oops, I didn't get this one. This. And I think I'm going to put These are going to be pearls. I think they're going to be pearls. These are going to be pearls. Um, I could have probably put more pearls over here, but I think I'm going to get out the white. Now, let's see. I could... Um, nope, I think they're going to be pearls. So we're going to get out the white. This is just flat white. I don't have a gloss. Let me double check. I'm pretty sure I don't have a gloss white. I have glitter and I have satin. I mean, I'm going to do the satin. Why not? I don't have, I really don't have gloss. Um, I could, I did top dot some of these, but for the most part, that's just straight white. This is top dotted. Can't even really tell. Um, I only top dotted a few of these. So I top dotted these pearls. Can't really tell. Hey, Sunny. All right, so let's do this. Um, I think these are going to be pearls. We are having a Hello Fresh recipe. It's called Gouda Burgers. I think it's what it's called. But we you use Gouda cheese. But there's a really good sauce that we make out of tomatoes, diced tomatoes, onions, and I can't remember. But we love it. It's a very messy burger. But it is so good. And, you know, you make the patties yourself and everything. And then you toast a brioche bun, which we couldn't really find them. So we just got, like, it was similar to it with um, kind of like a potato bun, but it had more of a shiny um, crust than, like, your normal potato buns, like, for burgers. But, um... 
So good. OMG. It is so good. Okay, okay, okay. Yep, these are definitely going to be pearls. And yeah, you can make these. Um, I can put pearls really small, like seed seed bead pearls almost. Um, cause I feel like I'm gonna need more pearls in these two areas. I think I'm gonna go around that around here. I'm going to pearlize these. Whoops. If I over dot the bezel on the pearl, I don't mind as much because they're so small. When they're this small, I don't mind if I don't get it completely centered. Although that is still what I'm going for. Wow. Oh my gosh, you guys. It's coming together. Um, I don't know if this is even necessary for you to see me doing it on camera. I guess, you know, there is something to be said for the real-time visual of how I go about placing things, whatever. I mean, I definitely learn from seeing. Um, doesn't this look like a brooch, the centerpiece? Wait a minute. I have to make sure I pile it on. Please be careful when you're maneuver maneuvering the piece because all these dots are not dry and if you mess them up, you'll be so sad. Okay, I'm going to put one, definitely one here and definitely one here, a little bigger, um, here, um, I think I'll put one here too. So the rest of the gold dots, they're just gold. You know, I mean, it's fine that they're just, they're not, they don't have anything on top of them. This is looking, I think I'm done. I think I need to not dot anything else. I have to work through here a little bit. I'm going to put pearl, pearl. Um... These are pearls. Um, and then down here is going to be. See, if I need to go bigger, I just keep dotting and it kind of grows. Um, hmm. And there are not a lot of pearls. Um,. I might be done. I'm going to place them side by side and see if um, I'm done with color, I should say, because this is what I want to show you too. Really don't want anything falling on this. If you look, I dotted behind the background, I should say, with a metallic black on some areas, so over through this area and here. This is all metallic black. And then this part is flat black. So the regular black paint, I just put, I dotted it to give it texture. So that is the last step. Um, besides top dotting it again, which I do not think I'm going to do, we're adding any more pearls. 
which I really don't, I'm feeling good about it. I'm not feeling like I need to put anything else as far as design wise with pearls or anything. Let me just have a look at it. Mm, man. These are so flipping pretty guys. So completely different yet oh god so pretty. This kind of does seem a little empty up here. But I think I need to leave it. Um, I could put more pearls, but no, I'm just going to leave it. I think I'm going to dot the, the same way I did on here. I'm going to put the metallic black dots in these areas. And I'm going to put black dots in here. Alright, so let me grab the metallic black. metallic it's the ram coat select black pearl they call it I'm gonna put this in I'm um, gonna put a fresh puddle out and I could let the whole thing dry before I go ahead and do this just so that I don't I make sure I don't stick my hand in it let me see if that's gonna be um, I don't want to use that Green, 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 this one. I think this is good. I mean, it might be a little thick. It kind of is. And all I do is just, you can walk the dots. Um, I start with bigger and fill in the biggest areas with the biggest dots and then kind of just walk it and then I come back after I've filled all the area and then I have a really tiny dotting tool to fill in any real big gaps so let's see yeah you can tell so I'm gonna fill this area All right, you guys, so I will go off camera and finish those sections. I'll be right back. Okay, it's coming together. This, I added a few more spots for pearls. These big gold dots are going to be pearls. Let me turn this down. Um, here, in the centers of those, I put another little spot for a pearl, just to pull that white down a little bit. Oops. So here, I was looking in the viewfinder, and here, I put some in the middle, so I kind of built out that center. I'm a little disappointed in how the center design isn't as bold as I thought it could be. Anyway, um, I'm going to go ahead and put those pearls in real quick. Hopefully, uh, I need to add a little more white. And then I'm going to start dotting the background of the rest of the piece, and I'll be done. These aren't fully dry. I just used my heat tool a little bit, but I think I'll be okay. I just really liked the way um, these pearls framed the center on my other piece, and I just felt like just before I dotted it I wanted to be sure that I really liked it and I thought yeah I could add a few more um, pearl sections to that just I didn't really feel like I could add anything to this center design that would not really change the whole um, alright so let me look at that I like that and then this one Oh, I'm, I have it's too big. Um, right here. And down here. Well, these are a little smaller, so let me flip. Oh, right here. In the center. Oh, 
Oh, that one was big. Um, and then I just have, there's a few little ones over here. I'm just going to switch stylus. Yeah, I mean, I'm telling you, that little touch of white, it just pulls it together. And, you know, the, the dotting on the background, that's personal preference. Like, you do not have to. I just like that it makes it look um, mosaic-y. It gives it more of a mosaic feel, in my view. I have to do these. Alexa, next. All right, so this is basically it. I'll come and give you a final look when I have all the background dots on. It's kind of glary. Let me see something. See? I should top dot those, I think. But they are very shiny. All right, I'm going to do all the background black now. I have my bl flat black out, and I'm just going to dot it. I'll be back. All right, it's all done. And it's not varnished, obviously, and I still have to top dot my green for sure. Here, let me turn this. Okay. I'm going to top dot the green. So I did this one along with it, like when I was waiting for other stuff to dry. And I've top dotted the green on this. And it just gives it that nice opalescent shine. Because the other paints I used are already glossy. I think I'm going to leave them. Uh, so let's fin I already put out, this is a, the Extreme Sheen Emerald color. So let's see, do I have any big ones? No, these are kind of small, so I'm going to use this guy. Let me let that dry over there. These are the biggest ones I have. Let me come in, because it just, it's, it's very satisfying, I feel like. Everything's pretty dry, but I won't varnish this until tomorrow. Um, it's just too devastating if I try to do it and, and everything's not dry. It will really make a mess and um, listen even I have enough patience to wait for that I use a satin varnish on this um, really I only have that at the oh, that's way too much paint that's all I have at the moment so that's pretty much why because I think a, a matte varnish would look really good on here because then everything else the um, all the metallics and the gloss paints. I think I when I use satin for the white too. They're going to be able to um, do their thing, you know. Um, let's see. So gray. I'm just doing green. Woo! And so I hope you guys give this a try. Um, just buy some small pieces and play like I did. You can buy the, a four pack and you can get it done super quick. I see a splash right here. Oh, I lost it. I think I splashed some green somewhere. Oh, here. Okay. And I'm tempted, but I really don't think I need to top dot the other colors because see the gloss shine I mean maybe just the purple let me grab my extreme sheen purple because um, let me see if I have it oh, let me come up because I know I'm zoomed um, this is no this isn't what I want to do I want to stick with the dark I have a lot of purple I love purple that's why um, it's in the drawer. Um, let's see. I just bought some, for goodness sake. It must be on my desk. Oh, no. This is blue. Um, anywho. Um, 
Oh, here it is. It fell down. So this is the Dazzling Metallics Amethyst. I have, um, see it's not open because I have the Extreme Sheen. Here it is. I haven't used either one actually. But I'm going to open the Extreme Sheen. I didn't realize that I bought two purples when Joe and I went the other day. And this seems like it's really thick right now. Yeah, it's very thick. So I am going to stir this up. You really need to do a good job of stirring it because you need to combine the like the polymers and make sure it's all fluent like oh good it's yeah this is good so give it a minute to really get mixed in Alexa stop okay and I'm not gonna tr I'm gonna try not to cover the entire so just It's the same color. It just has a little bit of a different sheen to it. So I really, I don't want to do too much. Maybe just on the really big ones. Because the gloss is really pretty. Maybe just the middle of this one. And this one. And this one. See if you get carried away. Anyway, you get the idea. Oops. I'm not, I'm sorry. All right, that's it. I love it. I'll post it on my Facebook page. Give it a try, and thanks for watching.